For I have confirmed chapter 4 alongside the live event called Fracture taking place on the 3rd of December. But we have all of the new leaks about chapter 4 and this live event in today's video. So make sure you guys are watching for the whole way to the very end. But like I said, Fortnite have now confirmed Fortnite Chapter 3's finale event called Fracture. The FNCS Invitational, which means we're going to be going into Chapter 4 with a whole new map where people are speculating we're going to be seeing all three maps combined, which I think would be really, really cool. As it could be fracturing realities together, which I think would be crazy. This map would look absolutely amazing. And here's a concept image of what someone has recreated of what the map actually could look like next chapter, because I think it's going to be one of the coolest maps we've ever seen. We've only been on this map for a year and they're already changing it so i'm very very excited and as you guys can see in the teaser image on the text you guys can see some sort of crack which could be based around the zero point as the strings have actually been decrypted so like i said the zero point strings have been decrypted the zero point toggle focus zero point collide is zero point teleporting zero point tunnel player in a zero point and zero point exit which means we're going to be going through the zero point in this live event is going to be one hell of a live event here he is bro Oh, I just grappled onto him by accident. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. But it actually looks like we're going to be going into another black hole event as a new tag was added called the Unload Artemis Terrain, which is the same tag they use at the end of chapter one. And Unload Artemis means the map. So we'll most definitely be going into a brand new black hole for this event, which is going to be amazing. Because as you guys know, we're going to be going into extended downtime as well. Sheena BR has confirmed it over on Twitter, which is going to be a 48 hour downtime. So it's going to be a long downtime which does mean we're going to be inside this zero point for a very, very long time. Oh, what are you doing? I knew I, f I thought I heard someone, bro. How have I won that gunfight? The countdown flag has actually been added and will go live between the 23rd and the 27th of November, just a week before the event, which I cannot wait for. This live event is going to be the biggest one yet. And we're also going to be getting a free cosmetic in this live event, which is this bat bling. It kind of looks like the zero points. So let me know in the comment section below if you guys are going to be playing inside of this live event because it is massive. It is 700 megabytes and the end event for chapter two was 500 megabytes. So you already know this is going to be the biggest live event we've ever seen. But before we get into all of the other juicy information, I'm still gifting five subscribers every single day. To people who do, drop a like on the video, turn on all notifications, and leave a comment with the epic ID down below so I can add you guys. And remember, if you guys are picking up anything from today's arm shot for yourself, please do consider popping in my support credit code, Apple One, as it literally takes one second to do so, and it is the best way to support the channel the extra mile. But this live event will actually be taking place at the center of the map where the zero points currently is, which is quite a cool location to be fair, because it's literally bang in the middle of the map, which means everyone's going to be able to see it. We do have a brand new Octane car. As you guys can see, these were added today and they are just absolutely insane. So we then have the new blog post for today's Fortnite update. As you guys can see, Fortnite Battle Royale 22.40 update, Octane makes a new stop. In the Fortnite Battle Royale update, a new vehicle has been driven to paradise, the Rocket League's Octane. This is now in the game and it's absolutely crazy. It did get added to creative a few weeks back and it's actually now in the island, which is absolutely insane. And we then have the Grappler. It is now back and it's even better. When you use it your glider will redeploy for you this thing's so cool i'm so glad it's back for the final weeks of fortnite chapter 3 but you guys can see here you can find the grapple gliders from the ground chests chrome chests and even supply drops and they have limited charges so it's not a bad idea if you save your grapple glider for emergencies this thing is insane we then have a big big ltm coming 40 v 40 this is going to be so much fun right he's over here you can literally flip in this thing bro what this is crazy this car's the coolest thing they've ever added. Here he is! <laughs> what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? But here is what it will look like when you load up for the Fracture LTM. A chrome tornado will slowly pick you up and then you're thrown into the map for this live event, which is going to be amazing. I can't lie. I really do like these in-lobby animations they do before every live event. The battle pass is going to be the craziest battle pass of this chapter just yet. Starting off with our first skin being Miles Morales. Miles Morales will be in next season's battle pass as it's already been one year since we had the original Spider-Man skin come out in season one, chapter three. And the Miles Morales game releases on the Epic Games Store on the 18th of November in just two weeks time, in just in time for a new season. And it will be coming out with multiple Multiple styles, but Jill Felipe showcased 
what this skin could possibly look like when it does come into the game and possibilities of the cosmetics he'll bring into the battle pass with his bat bling, his pickaxe and also the skin itself with this amazing lightning effect. So Miles Morales will be in the Season 5 Battle Pass but our next skin will actually be Geno. Yes, Geno will be coming into the game next season and possibly even in the live event at the end of this season as he has now been seen in the comics fighting the Seven but he then gets scattered into loads of different realities after the Seven defeated him but at the very end of the comic you can see him coming back to life in another snapshot. We've seen multiple styles of him in the surveys so it looks like he will actually be the Tier 100 skin for next season with all of these styles unlocked throughout the season just like the Omega skin which is going to be so so cool. We then have a brand new PlayStation Plus pack. We're not sure if it's going to be releasing this season or for Chapter 4. I believe it's going to be releasing for Chapter 4 but as you guys can see we do have a John Juan skin which I, I really like this skin. It looks amazing. His bat bling and also his pickaxe. This pack will be coming for completely free for players who do own PlayStation Plus. So if you guys are on PlayStation and have PlayStation Plus you guys can get this skin for completely free which I think is an absolutely amazing skin. And the next skin we're also going to be seeing is a brand new Dr. Sloan skin. She didn't die in the collision live event which is really really big for the storyline and she has two new styles inside of the skin survey and actually looks like she's joined the last reality and then she also has this sand version which is pretty cool as well so expect her to be in the season 5 battle pass which I'm extremely excited for. We then have the brand new crew pack for Tonic Striker Pickaxe releasing on the 15th of November for all crew pack subscriptions so I can't lie I'm very very excited for this. It's like a new legacy pack which is amazing but we got a guy landing in here. Well, where are you going, bro? Oh! Someone seems to be on top of the balloon. Ah! I see you. Don't think I don't see you. I'm getting out. Oh! Oh, no. This is a big mistake. Oh, I am so dead. Yeah, I, there was no way I was living that. That was a very, very big mistake from me. But that's everything we have in today's video about Fortnite Chapter 4. Some free exclusives cosmetics you're going to be able to unlock in Chapter 4 and the live event and all the live event leaks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Remember, if you guys are new, make sure you guys do hit that big red subscribe button down below because you can also see the lobby has now changed to fully chrome, which is really, really cool. I think they should have done this at the start of the season, but it is what it is. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Remember, if you guys are picking up anything from today's item shop for yourself, please do consider popping in my support credit code Apple1 and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.